Hey guys, Jared with SDS Imports, and today we're going to take a quick look at the Orpaz T40 series holsters that are available now on our website. So if you have a PX9 or one of our 1911s, or any other handgun for that matter, this is designed with internal adjustments and shim kits that will allow it to fit a wide variety of pistols and weapon lights. So let's break it down and take a closer look at it says it will fit all Orpaz attachments. So in addition to the paddle loop, there are drop leg attachments and belt loops. So if you wanna attach it to, you know, just your duty belt or a war belt, or even just run it on a drop leg, you're gonna be able to do that. Fits all flashlight sizes. It is a level two retention holster. It also has a really neat magnetic retention right here at the bottom. So not only does it index on the light and the level two, there's also a cushion magnet down here that gives that just a little bit extra retention. It's actually really kind of satisfying to, to remove. It is available in three sizes. We do have the T40 and the T40Xs available, as that will fit most of our longer barrel guns. The smaller T41 is going to be more for your subcompact sub guns, but for most of our pistols, the 40 and 41 are going to suit your needs perfectly. Actually, you're going to have a holster. You're going to have one adapter plate. Our models are going to ship with the paddle holster. I found this to be more than adequate when running a quality belt. I had an SOE Cobra belt, one and three quarter inch, and this had more than enough bite on there to really kind of yank in and out the gun and run around the range without any problem. Let's get a little baggie of hardware, as well as some of uh, cushions for that magnetic front end and Allen wrench, and then all sorts of cool little goodies and cards to read more about it. First thing you're going to do is insert it in the holster, and you'll see that there's a little bit of play. So you'll just kind of squeeze down with your hand, and it kind of removes a lot of that play. And on the back side of the holster, there are two Allen bolts that you would use to tighten down. They have Loctite installed from the factory. Once you've got your pistol in there and you just kind of take your hand and squeeze that nice and tight, you're going to take the included Allen wrench and just tighten down the two bolts on the back. Don't drop your Allen wrench like me. And that's going to give you a nice snug fit. So now the next thing to do is to mount that back paddle on there. It is uh, kind of one way directional, so you'll put this guy on there. There are three holes on there that you're just going to make sure you line up. Grab the paddle. The longer of the screws goes in the center hole, which will lock the... This is a really long screw, so we're going to be here for just a minute. So don't lock that first screw down, and then you're going to be able to adjust the cant. Um, I do prefer a little bit of forward cant. So I will kind of offset this guy ever so slightly, insert that into the second hole. And as you begin to tighten that one down, that's when you'll lock in your cant adjustment, however you prefer it. And I will say all the hardware does have a liberal amount of blue Loctite on there. So I don't think you're gonna need to add any more to you. But as always with anything, after you use it for a while, make sure you tighten everything back down and reapply Loctite as needed. So now you can see we've got this guy locked on there and it is ready to go. The last thing to do is adjust the depth of the pistol by moving that magnetic stud that is up there. So we'll take the pistol, put it back inside of the holster and you can kind of see this one has been preset because I've been running it. But you can take this, just by putting that screw in there, you can adjust the depth. So if you have a shorter frame pistol, you can lower this uh, or, you know, make it so that it's further in the holster or further out. There is a maximum adjustment. So five inch 1911 seemed to work in this one pretty good, but if you had a threaded barrel, you'd want to get one of the longer ones. So kind of drove that in there a little bit. Now you can see that our retention doesn't get on there and our trigger has a little bit more gap. So we definitely want to make sure that it sits a little deeper in the holster. So this time you can kind of see we got a little bit of play in here. That's more than acceptable. They tell you to give yourself at least two millimeters of clearance between the locking device and the backside of the pistol. But that is how simple and easy it is to adjust the Orpaz T40 series holsters to fit a multitude of guns. So I will say after running this pistol for a couple hundred rounds at CMP Talladega this weekend, it is a pretty decent holster. I'm not generally a person that carries an outside the waistband level two holster. I'm usually, you know, kind of inside the waistband you know, Kydex fold over designs. But for this one right here, I wouldn't shy away from it. And I really did like the fact that in the course of one day, we were able to put a PX9 generation three, and then as well as this Raider 1911 in the same holster using the same light. So if you're using, you know, something similar to the Enforce or even the Surefire, they do make an adapter kit for the Surefires. That is so we have these available now on the website. So head on over to the website and pick one up if you've been looking for a level two retention light bearing holster for your PX9 or 1911 from TSOSH USA or Military Armament Corporation. 
Black Friday is right around the corner, everyone. So make sure you get signed up for the Dispatch newsletter. We're going to have a pretty nuts Black Friday sale this year. Also, after we post this video, you can head on over to sdsimports.com forward slash contest and get entered to win a T40 holster and this Enforce Wild One Lite. No purchase is necessary. You're just gonna enter your email into a simple box. Make sure you like and follow our social channels and you can be entered to win this light, this holster from SDS Imports and Tesis USA. As always, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And you guys know what I like to say. I cannot wait to see you on the range.